Hello there, and welcome to yet another episode of Marek Makes a Meal of It, the almost annual cook show. I've made a new friend. That sounds a bit weird. Good. This is Keith. Uh, he's come round, not just to chat, but for dinner. And I'm going to make something happen in Keith's mouth that's going to be quite incredible. Right, Keith? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And I'm going to do that by using food. What's exciting about this for you, the viewer, is that I'm going to try and cook whatever Keith picks out. But if I fail to do something that's edible, um, he is going to choose something else from a takeaway, which I have to pay for. <laughs> oh, what a great concept. Past viewers will know that I'm not the best, second best, or even the top 65 million cooks in the world at the moment. I'm going to try and cook whatever Keith picks from scratch, with no knowledge, only using my hands, like most cooks. Far away, Keith, what would you want me to make? All right, I've gone for steamed skate with runner beans, chanterelles, and sweet red pepper dressing. Is that actually sweet, or is it in terms of just sweet red pepper red dressing? Doesn't say. All right, um, can you keep yourself amused while I go down to the shops? Yeah. Good luck, mate. Don't make a mess. I'm sure Gary Rhodes does not do his shopping on Sunday in the Culp. But if he did, if he did and he didn't managed to get skate, what would he have got the next best thing? Cod. Would it cod. Cod, yeah. So we're going to have steamed cod. Um, but don't be too disappointed because I scored a jackpot on sweet uh, red peppers. Not just any ones, but pointed ones. These are Chantenay carrots, which could be the cheap version just down the road from Chanterelle. Some wine, which beans, butter and uh, cream, I don't know why. And while I'm cooking, while you're bored, I've got you a, a kind of surprise. Oh, nice. Oh, I've got no idea how long to steam fish for. Oh, I forgot the most important thing. Always wash your hands. And you know what they say as well? Always buy fish on a Sunday. Why do they say that, Mary? Well, they don't. They say never buy on a Sunday. You always buy on a Friday because it's fresh. So Sunday's the worst time to buy fish. I'm going to put um, the cod in the steaming section here. I don't really make dressings. I just sort of, that's what mayonnaise came in as a substitute for dressings really, didn't it? Yeah. When yeah. it came in in the 80s. After I've steamed it and then I'm going to pour some wine and sort of butter over it so you can't tell whether it's, it's dangerous or not. Oh, nice. Just give it a rinse just to wash the smell off it. Yeah. You're actually worried about it now is your fault for picking the fish in the first place. Yeah, it's sort of taking a bit more of a serious turn, isn't it? Yeah, because my life being threatened as well as yours. The fish, the cod steaming, I'm going to put the beans on. Uh, the beans are in the pan. What goes into dressing? Uh, it's usually... Uh, it's usually wet, isn't it? Yes, it is. You're going to have the wettest dressing you've ever tasted, Keith, let me tell you. So we've put that in the bowl there. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to let that rest. I suppose it would. To make a dressing, you use vinegar and olive oil. A squeeze of lemon as well. Nice. Like a lot of very strong flavours, and all of them coming in at the wrong time. You can chop these up however finely you like. I like to not do it very inconsistently. So that way each bit is a surprise. How long does it take to, to steam the, uh, the fish? Too long. It says for the beurre blanc sauce and in brackets it's got optional. So I suppose it doesn't really matter. For the what sauce? Beurre blanc. Beurre blanc? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Beurre blanc. I've got white wine. That's going to be half a beurre blanc, isn't it? So I've got the beans and the carrots are on and it's time for me to make the sauce the beurre blanc sauce, right? It's been steaming now for nearly 15 minutes, so I think the... It looks pretty cooked. Would it 
go around the same way if we were in the Southern Hemisphere? Yes, because I'm doing it with my hand. Okay, the bird's in. Now it's time for the blanc. I'm spooning it in. Oh, shit. I'm not going to muck around. That tastes absolutely disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like dead milk. That is horrible. Have you got the takeaway menus anywhere? People say they enjoy this cooking business. It's just, it's just lies. How long, how long has the fish been been cooking now, Marek? I think too. I think I've. You've distracted me, and I've steamed it for far too long. Once it has a bit of um, this sauce in it, it should liven up a little bit. Okay. Looks absolutely disgusting. I'm going to start again. Just rinse the pan and push it all down the sink. Just butter and wine. The queen made it taste disgusting. It's probably one of the many things that take make it taste disgusting. I'm going to save the chocolate for later because I don't want to ruin my appetite. It's a lot harder when you just hear words rather than just see the pictures. Previously, I saw the uh, had actually tried the food, so I get an idea. But this time, I've just been told words. I'm operating on a completely different medium. I'd say that takes a lot of courage. Thank you, Keith. I mean, it's just wine. Well, I completely forgot about these puppies. Our friends. The chanterelles. Sounds like a pot group, doesn't it? I mean, there's nothing appetising about this, nothing. And I'm just going to take a pinch. Let's just put these chanterelles on here. This would be skate, which would retain its um, more liquid a lot better. And here we are, Keith. Skate stroke cod with um, a red pepper dressing on a bed of beans and two things which might be chanterelles. That is not far off. I mean, he's chopped the beans up. Chanterelles are mushrooms. Oh. We're supposed to cook the peppers and season with a pinch of salt and then press them with a steamer for six to eight minutes. Well, I gave him 20 minutes. Uh, okay. I think that's just nitpicking. He's trying a tiny bit of bean. <laughs> Carrots are a bit... <laughs> Sorry. Carrots are a bit sour. Do I have to eat the fish? Yes, it's fine. I've, it's overcooked, if anything. What do you think? If you were in a restaurant, would you eat that? No. So, the final verdict. Keith, would you prefer this meal or would you prefer to, to have a takeaway? It is close. Well, probably the takeaway. A. It's very unhelpful if people pick um, items from the list with summer ingredients in the middle of January. B. Chanter roll. Or trust your instincts of, is a mushroom and see fish only takes six to eight minutes to steam a bit of fish not 25 minutes if you want to witness more con culinary magic culinary cul culinary culinary magic you can see me making lasagna here or if you have a sweeter tooth how about me baking a cake here and remember everyone happy cooking Thank you.